What is going on YouTube? I know, as usual, uh, it's probably been like two or three weeks since I put a video out. I just really didn't have anything going on with my car. Currently, I actually have custom side splitters being made for my car. So that's gonna be another video for you guys. So if you aren't subscribed to this channel, please be sure to subscribe now. But besides that, uh, today we're actually gonna be plasti dipping my car again. You guys probably think I'm crazy because technically this is the fourth time I've plasti dipped my Mercedes. Uh, and I'm actually going back to a color that I already had. So I want you guys to comment down below and guess what color it is. Right now I gotta go to the UPS store and pick up the plastic dip and then I gotta drive to Bristol. Uh, I gotta go get the spray gun from Sean Shop and then I'm actually going to my dad's house because today I'm gonna be spraying it outside. Uh, it's really nice out, there's no wind. Normally I would do it inside Sean's shop uh, just because it's a lot easier, but can't do it there anymore so we're gonna be doing it outside. Not a big deal, just hopefully nothing flies into the paint. So I got bad news, which sucks, but when Dip Your Car sent me my uh, confirmation number, it was only one tracking number for like the whole package. Now the issue is that I changed the tracking that they sent me so I can pick it up. Because usually when I get mail, it doesn't get to my house until like three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Then I have to drive 40 minutes you know, to Sean's shop, another 10 minutes to my dad's house, then I have to wash the car, tape the car off, all that stuff, which will probably take an hour and a half, two hours alone. By then it's gonna be like five, six o'clock at night. That's not enough time to spray a car. Now, when I went to go pick up the package this morning, it tells me there's two tracking numbers. The second tracking number is on the truck being delivered, which means I'm not getting that until three o'clock. So I'm like freaking out because I'm like, what the hell, I wanted to do this today. Tomorrow is supposed to be raining. I'm working tomorrow. Sunday is supposed to be crappy. He ends up telling me I can do a meeting point, which means I would go meet this UPS driver somewhere. He said after 10.30, they should call me and tell me where they wanna meet. I go there, get my package, it should be all good. So this is one of the packages that they sent me. And as you can see, you get the top coat in there, and then you get all the pre dip stuff on that side. And it's just a huge pain in the ass. Kill time, I actually picked up a new pistol today. I'm not gonna show you guys, because I know how YouTube is. I picked up a uh, Six Sawyer. P320, nice pistol, and I sold my rifle. I got it. I just got so lucky. Now where they asked me to meet was a different town, but since Rhode Island is so small, it's not actually that big of a deal to me. Uh, it was only like 15 minutes away. But they told me that I have to find him. He was supposed to be down this entire road, right? And he could have been on any of the side streets, delivering at houses, businesses, whatever. So I'm trying to look for him. I'm looking down every road, looking like this, this, this. I end up seeing him all the way down the road. I see a UPS driver. I drive to him. I literally stop him in the middle of the road. He pulls over and I got my package. So a huge shout out to that guy. Huge shout out to the UPS for allowing me to actually meet up with them and get my package sooner. Uh, it's only 11, so now I'm gonna drive to Bristol and clean my car, prep it, and start spraying. So. Thank God, and I got my gun. So today is starting to slowly turn around. I do apologize because it's really windy now, but my car is completely done. I'm just uh, cleaning up now. On camera, it might look like a matte black, but when the sun hits it, it's really satin. I have the black wheels. Um, I was trying to peel the trim so it would stay black, but ended up peeling the chrome as well. So I might vinyl wrap the chrome trim black later. I didn't record the whole process because obviously I've made probably two or three videos spraying my entire car already. So if you guys wanna check that out, those are on my channel. Right, so my question to you guys is, should I do gloss black on the trim or should I do matte black and kind of match it with everything? So comment down below and let me know. Also, every time I spray the car, I get these lines, never know why. Uh, I guess it's just my spraying technique. You can't see it really when you look at it head on, but in certain light, you can just see the lines go all the way down, which is not that big of a deal. It kind of adds like a weird effect to it, but overall I'm pretty happy with how it came out. I also want to tint my parking light right there again, just because the orange just pops way too much and there's nothing orange on the car. Um, and then I'm also going to put my Instagram uh, probably in this window right here in red so that way it can match the brakes. All right guys, so it's actually next morning. Um, I'm about to head into work. If you guys enjoy the black, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, also, like I said earlier, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what I should do for my trim. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also comment, like I said, and subscribe to the channel if you are not subscribed already. Summer is coming. 
I'm gonna make a lot more videos, get a lot more things to do to this car. Stay tuned, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.